So I wanted to ask you, do you believe that you can amplify your emotion, any emotion? Hey, hey, coach, uh, do you need to amplify your emotions? Because, for example, with anger, I mean, that pretty, pretty much um, can take over you pretty easily. And so I don't know if you really need that, you know, certain most most times to to really, you know, enhance that kind of emotion. OK, so that's that's a thought. Um, anger cannot be. So you're saying a anger cannot be amplified even more. It can. It's just, well, it can. You're, you're, but take, you're taken over by, by anger. That's it. That's just, it's inside your head. Yeah, I mean, you can you can amplify it, but do you need to? Should you? you? Need to. Yeah, should you're you? Asking me. I mean, asking me. Do yeah. I need to? <laughs> um, yeah, I think you, you do need to. You do need to amplify that anger, if that anger has taken over you. If that anger has is messing up your tennis game or whatever you're doing, it's uh, almost becoming a distraction. You may need to get it even higher than you already need to. And why is that? Why? Or maybe you don't believe in that. Well, I kind of generally feel you should maybe dial it back. Maybe dial it back. Okay. You could dial yeah. back that anger. Especially if, if, if your emotions or your anger is, is controlling you, you have to dial it um, back. I guess, you know, go back to, I, I think what we talked about uh, last week about um, maybe um, using some sort of routine or, or like your breathing to, to kind of calm yourself down for the, for the next point. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I know what you're getting at. Um, but I think like when you're actually playing, during the point, I don't mm -hmm. think, you know, that anger necessarily will serve you. Uh, during that, you know, playing the point, maybe you need to find some sort of calmness, you know, to kind of refocus yourself. Maybe in between points, yeah, you know, fire yourself up, stuff like that. But once mm -hmm. you, you know, um, get into that point, into that rally, then I think uh, maybe uh, you could, maybe channel, I guess is, is a word, to use channel that um, anger or emotion. Okay, so that's good. So you need to dial it back or channel that anger. Um, you can't be angry. You can't be angry, uh, you know, on that, on that particular tennis point, especially an important tennis point. It's match point or you're down break point, something important. You got to dial it back. Is that should you do it? So, so anyone else, would you agree with that to dial it back as much as you can? You're so angry at yourself. You're angry at, maybe you're even angry at your opponent or you're angry at the heckler that is outside the fence shouting names at you. You're mm -hmm. very angry at the whole situation. Uh, you need to dial it back. You need to, uh, Get that into a calm state, you know, just, just bring it down, bring it down to even level. Can you do that? Is that possible? I think it depends on the type mm -hmm. of anger and frustration that you're experiencing. If it's, mm -hmm. in, it's relating to the game, then I think you could use it as fuel to like, like be better, do better, try harder. Um, mm -hmm. If it's anger in regards to something like just in your personal life or just in general, then yeah. maybe that can interfere with how well you're doing. So if it's in relation to tennis or like whatever game you're playing, then I think it could be beneficial. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Brianna. So yeah, maybe it, it depends on the type of anger. There's different, maybe there's different types of anger that we need to deal with. So there's a tennis anger, personal anger, um, anger at work, you know, maybe they're all different types, anger on the road, you know, so yeah. Anything else? I think going off of what they were saying, I also think that you can amplify your emotions depending on what you're feeling as well. So if you're like, like you guys are just talking about like strictly angry, but I think if you're feeling like um, a different emotion, say like you're like happy, like happiness or like or joy when you're playing the game, I feel like you can amplify that to enjoy your experience more. 
then mm-hmm. if you were to amplify like the negative or like the more uh, angrier emotions, mm-hmm. I feel like if you were to amplify like the opposite side, you'll be able to enjoy yourself better while you're playing the sport, no matter what it is. Okay. Well, that's good. Thank you, Ryan. Um, anything else on that? So yeah, again, it maybe depending on the situation, um, you know, amplifying positive emotions, obviously, um, that can be good. Okay, anything else on that? That's pretty good, good thoughts. When I get distracted with emotions or outside things or something that's going on in my personal life when I'm playing a point, I try to like be in the present. Be in the present moment, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's always good. Um, you don't, you know, just like going back to chapter one, you don't really want to dwell on past stuff, uh, especially in tennis, you know, the points are still going, you got to get back into the present moment. So that's always good trying to refocus. Okay. Um, anything else on that? Um, I kind of felt the same way about like amplifying your, your anger, because I remember like a game where I was just like, I made anger like take over me. And then just during the whole entire game, it was just like, I kept on making mistakes and stuff like that. And in reality, I was losing to myself and to the team. So the mm-hmm. team got the best of me. So the team helped you out to dial it back down to get into a more calmer state? Yeah. So, or the coach just sat me down. Just oh, the coach sat you down. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you get too amped up, right, um, you're doing crazy things. Uh, what what sport? Was that basketball? or? Uh, it was volleyball. Oh, volleyball? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if you're definitely in team sports, doing something crazy or not performing well, obviously, um, you'll get benched. Okay. So that's, that makes sense. Okay. Things can get too rowdy. Okay. Um, so what I believe is that, do you believe that you can amplify your emotion? Then obviously, yes, I think you can amplify your emotion. You can amplify your anger. So with, uh, my brother Kuya saying that you need to dial it back, um, in that moment, in that very angry moment, um, I say, uh, it's not the best way to do that simply because if you try to dial it back, if you try to dial back your, your, uh, your anger, say you're in a really bad situation, you're unforced errors, you're making total mistakes, you're, there's hecklers all around you. Just really feel in that moment. Can you dial it back? Can you really dial that anger back to a very calm, almost like monk-like state where you are in complete control of your faculties you really have to you really have to be a monk itself you really have to be uh that in tune with your mind with your body okay that there are intense pressures that are happening in that moment and within seconds you are asking yourself to dial it down into a very even calm state as if you're almost like on the beach. And I think that is the wrong way to go. I think you should amp it up even more. So in that very angry state, that very, very hyper angry state, you amp it up even more to the point where what happens? What happens when you amp it up even more than that. What happens? Um, Maybe uh, you allow the feeling to run its course and then pass. Yes, so exactly. So when you start, when you have that proactive mentality to bring that anger up, you get on top of it, okay? You bring it up even more to the point where, well, Nathaniel was saying, you know, with the fear turning into confidence, okay, how how is that possible? Well, it is very, very possible. You could turn that anger into confidence as well. You could turn that anger 
into the point. You can channel that anger. You know, my brother was saying that a little bit too. You can do that to win that point, to really, really focus that anger, that energy into that serve, into that uh, forehand, into that strategy of what you're trying to do. Because that anger or whatever you're feeling is there it, there is, it's there for a purpose. There, there's a reasoning behind why you're angry. It's, it's, it's just not there because it's there, okay? Or because it's, um, you have emotional problems or something like that. It's there for a reason and it should be there. It should be there because you're messing up. You got hecklers on your face, okay? You got an opponent there that maybe is, um, you know, um, not very nice or something. I don't know. It, you're, you're angry. You need to dial it up even more to the point where you could use that to bust a big serve. 